Pondicherry, I am in Pondicherry. And Pondicherry is a mix of India and France. When you marry the two, you get Puducherry. Welcome to Puducherry. Follow me. Pondi is most famous for its cafes and hotels. And so in this video, I'm taking you to my favorite cafes and hotels in Pondi. Because when I go to Pondi, I know I'm going there to eat and I'm going there to stay in one of those beautiful colonial style hotels. Let's go! Hello everybody! Welcome to Pondicherry. I am in this beautiful, gorgeous hotel called Palais de Mahi. Guys, I can't wait to show you my room. This hotel is so grand, so French. <laughs> this is my big giant wall. Please enter. Come. This is my room, guys. Look at these high ceilings. This gorgeous, huge room. I'm gonna sleep in this bed tonight. I can't wait. I'm not gonna go to my flat. This is my beautiful terrace, everybody. And look at my view. View of the pool. In recent years, Pondicherry has changed from a sleepy small town to a vibrant tourist destination. Today I'm going to take you to all the best cafes and restaurants in Pondicherry. First stop, this is the first cafe I'm visiting. This is called Cafe Coromanda. It has such a beautiful, lovely French vibe. Gorgeous old French home. Those Tamil Nadu taxes on alcohol do not apply in Pondicherry. So please go grab that cocktail <laughs> and let's get drunk. I've ordered the baba ganoush, which is aubergine, which is also brinjal. Mm. Very tasty. This is a Lebanese immunity platter. This looks like hummus, Spanish hummus. How's the food? Good. Really good. What are you eating? I'm eating fish. Uh, looks amazing. Okay, the checks here. I had three dips and it came to 1400. Loved this cafe. Next one. Come on, let's go. French brasso plus South Indian coffee equals Pondicherry. Welcome to Pondicherry. French influence. Hello and welcome to the next cafe. It's called Cafe the Arts. It's a very cute little cafe. Lots of people outside taking pictures. And wow, this is really good. This is cucumber, mint, honey, pineapple. Let's take a walk. Beautiful, I can't wait to take it. Let's eat. 
So everyone wants to pose outside Cafe the Art. So this is my friend was Cafe the Arts. Make sure you come check it out for your fun. Beautiful hotel. Pull the promenade, on the promenade, in Pondicherry. Sea facing room. Come with me. I'm gonna show you what you get. Alright, this is a beautiful cafe over here. I can picture you eating, you know, a chocolate croissant, loving it, looking at the trees, uh, admiring it, drinking some filter coffee, French stats. Sorry, excuse my French accent. <laughs> but look at this place. It actually reminds me of the south of France or California with all the beautiful palm trees. And I'm now gonna show you the room. You will get this beautiful sea facing view in this beautiful room. They have this gorgeous rooftop restaurant and bar. Facing the sea, so pretty. You can sit in the outdoor cafe. Look at this sea. Stare at the palm trees above you and eat some croissants. They have beautiful food to keep the Pondicherry heat. Merci beaucoup, Mathia. Thank you. Pondi is very, very hot all through the year. So staying in a hotel with a pool is a blessing. So, what do you look for when you choose a hotel room? And what's the most value for money room you've ever stayed at? Tell me in the comments. Pondicherry is a foodie's paradise and is a great place for you to try out new gourmet cuisine from around the world. Next stop, La Villa. Wow, what a pretty place. This is so clean. Oh my gosh. Beautiful place. They already have a drink ready for me. Cheers. Huh? Maybe I should sit here. Mother Mary on top of me. And it's really quiet. I love all these heritage homes over here that they've converted into restaurants. So this is the apricot, walnut and ricotta salad. Looks pretty tasty. And that's the moringa soup. Moringa is a fancy word for drumsticks. The roasted fish with risotto and la villa with the sauce looks very beautiful. Breakfast today is at Le Duplex or Le Duplex as they call it. I ordered some filter coffee, some croissants, some eggs. Now this place is known for its steaks and its seafood. If you eat that, then you should come here for lunch or dinner. I decided to do breakfast here. So I'm at this place called Le Cafe. It's really cute, it's by the sea and it's known for its coffee. So I'm just gonna order a coffee. How's the food? It's good? Yeah. Enjoying? Yeah. <laughs> How's the coffee? Is it good? Yeah, very yeah, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Bon Welcome to Mesa Peromal. I've just checked into this beautiful house. It's called Mesa Peromal. Come, let me take you. It's a gorgeous little hotel. It's called Meso Perumal. Now Meso is house in French and Perumal is Lord Vishnu. So as you can see Pondicherry, the whole Indo-Franco culture as they call it, which is Indian and French mixed. 
this in the olden days, this courtyard used to be a courtyard just for gents, just men only. But now, of course, it's a hotel and everybody can hang out there. And so I'll take you to the second courtyard. So this courtyard is where all the women used to hang out because the kitchen was here and everything. And now it's the dining room. So in the olden days, this was the house, which was just this one floor. And now they've made it three stories high. And I'm gonna take you up to my room. Come on, let's go. I love my bed, it's beautiful, four poster bed. And then what I love most about it are these beautiful big French windows with the stained glass on top. After all, we are in Pondicherry. I have to have French windows, right? This is so fun, this place is so beautiful. And I love that whole French Tamil atmosphere over here, you know, like the swing and all, it's very Tamil, it's very Indian. But what I love most about it is that it believes in sustainability. I'm going to show you how they don't use plastic anywhere in this hotel and this is why I chose this hotel to stay in. Glass bottles. That means this hotel gives a shit about the environment. Spins are lined with paper. No plastic at all in this room. At all. Everything is eco-friendly. Like even the products, like the shampoo, the conditioners, everything they give you in these little glass bottles so there's no wastage, it's so small. And there's absolutely no plastic here. Hello, come on in. Welcome to my room. Pondicherry is a foodie's paradise and is a great place for you to try out new gourmet cuisine from around the world. Really, Pondi is a place to go and eat, drink, sit in cafes all day and sip some coffee. If you want to stay in Oroville, then I think this is a great choice. Afsana Guest House, you're right in the thick of Oroville. It's a very charming place, beautiful pool and the environment is so nice, all green, very peaceful and quiet. I did not stay here, so I don't know what the rooms look like, but I sneaked in and shot this video just to show you. Oroville has beautiful restaurants with natural rich food from the farms. Than the remnants of a genetic code, the stars overwhelmed by the mobile phone. A rip out of the fruits and the seeds we sow. The compromise is getting wider, the rivers polluted, racing we are. So, the great thing about Oroville is that all the food is fresh from the farm. This place is actually called Farm Solitude. And look at all my fresh, vegetarian, beautiful food. I'm starving, let's go eat. And <laughs> sitting on it in the farm, eating my thali. I love Oroville. I love the whole concept of Oroville, which is grow what you eat, eat what you grow. So basically, grow the food in the farm and then cook it and eat it. That's it. It's very simple, it's very basic. The food should not travel. Just eat fresh vegetables and fruits straight from the farm. Welcome to Oroville. I'm trying out this new Korean restaurant today. It's called Namwana. And I've ordered the bibimbap. I haven't eaten this in years. I love it. What I love about Korean food is they give you all these compliments. You get to mix and match and stir it all together. This has carrots, spinach, cucumbers, onions, and underneath it all is rice and on the top is a big fried egg. So you're supposed to mash and mix everything up in your plate. Mix the kimchi and mix everything up in your plate. 
Welcome to the most green cafe I've been to in a long time. The name of this cafe is Naturally More. It took me an hour and a half to find this place in Ottawa. It feels like you're in a garden forest which you are because you're in the middle of Oracle and the food is all green. Eating green in green. And this is the ragi dosa with some eggs. And we have my yogi bowl. It's time to eat. Bon appetit. I got my earth pizza. I'm at Tantos now. Tantos is a very famous restaurant in Oracle. I got the Greek salad. And usually I don't eat pizza. But this one's made of spelt, which is wheat. So it's a wheat pizza that I'm eating right now. Tantos is also very famous for the fish. <laughs> so I had to order the grilled fish. Do you want to share? I had a lot of fish. I'm going to show you the rooms at the Quiet Healing Center, which is part of Oroville. It's quite nice. Not bad. The mattress. It's a little, uh, it's okay, the, the, you know, it's very basic, but pretty. Sea view right from here, I like it. Wow, this is super pretty. I love it. This is what I chose. This view. This is me. Quiet healing center. I like the vibe here. It's nice. When in Oroville, you cannot miss this place. It's called Bread and Chocolate. The best place to eat breakfast or lunch. Look at my smoothie bowl. So this is the Solar restaurant at Oroville. All this food is fresh, vegetarian, organic food and it's cooked with solar energy. No gas at all. And it's just yummy, pure, fresh and fantastic. And everybody in the community comes here for lunch every day. Oroville's, volunteers, well, guests. And you know, you just sit around and chat with people and eat fresh solar cooked food. Bon appetit. Yeah.